Hi, I'm Chad with Teacher's Corner. Today I'm going to do a quick video on our word list saving options so that you guys can see front to end how everything works with the word list save feature. I'm going to start on the matchup worksheet maker and I'm going to have a title today. It's going to be, um, let's see, Foods in Spanish. What I've done already is, to speed things up, I've already made my list. Let's see if I can copy and paste it. This is my list that I made earlier. I'm going to use the quick add feature to load up my form. And then right here is our word list saving options. I already have stuff saved. If you have stuff saved in your slots, these slots will show. If you haven't saved anything, you'll have to click on the word list saving options to open up your empty slots to reveal them. Now, as you can see, I've already saved a couple of other things in other slots. I have two for school. I could use an empty one, but I think I'm going to cover up this school one with my Spanish translations of English foods. I'm going to go ahead and save it to slot four over school and it'll ask me if I want to overwrite it and I do so I hit OK you'll see that it's saving and now it has the title listed in the title area of that slot it's saved as a matchup and this is the retrieve function so if I came here I'm gonna go ahead and reload the page if I came here and I now have an empty an empty form. If I am a premium member, I can log in on any computer, anywhere, and retrieve my lists just as they are. To repopulate the form, I hit the arrows at the end. Remember, we use the floppy disk to save. These arrows are retrieval arrows, and this will populate the form with the words that I had that I had placed in that slot. So now you can see that my words have populated the form and I'm ready right away to make a puzzle with those words. Now, if you're not a premium subscriber, you'll have just a couple of these word lists and they'll only work on the same computer and using the same browser. Right now I am using Chrome and I'm on my home computer. If I were to open up Firefox and I was not logged in as a premium user, I wouldn't see these come up in my word list saving options. If I go to work and I'm not a premium subscriber and I use their computer, I will not see these come up. The reason is, is we store all of these lists, if you're not a premium subscriber, in the cookies in your browser. So everything's saved as a cookie in your browser. If you leave that browser going to a different computer, they will not be there. If you're a premium subscriber, we store all of this information into our database and it becomes accessible using your username and password. Once you're logged in, all of these lists come up, no matter which computer or which device you're using. So I want to make that clear. Now, now that I have a list in slot 4, Foods in Spanish, I can quickly make a list or quickly make a puzzle with that list. And that's a matchup puzzle. And it says matchup here because I can take this list and go to other places. If I want to make a crossword, just click on crossword maker, go over to the crosswords, there's my lists again. I can reload it into the crossword form quickly. Click on Make a Crossword Puzzle. Now with that same list, I've quickly created both a matchup and a crossword. I'm going to leave that one behind. This word can also be used in word scrambles. Now I'm in the word scramble maker. If I slide down, you notice we now have two sets of arrows. If it's saved as a matchup or a crossword, if you save your list there, 
there was a, a word and a clue. So each one of those columns are saved. If it's drawn back into the matchup or crossword, there's still two columns, so it fills both of those columns. There's only one arrow to, to retrieve both of those lists. If you come to Word Scramble, there's only one box for your words that you want to scramble. So, you can either choose your first list, which foods in Spanish would be my English list, or I can retrieve the other side, which was the Spanish list. And those are the words that would be scrambled. If I go ahead and take this, I'm going to go back to the English. My Spanish is quite rusty. It's been many years. I'm going to go to the English list of words. I'm going to go to the next step. Now these are all the words that are going to be scrambled. Now with our word scrambler I can put a clue in for each one of these. Avocado, avocado is palta in Spanish. So I, in there I can place palta. And I could go down the, down the list and place all of the Spanish words in there to give me a clue for each of these words that I'm about to scramble. I'm going to go ahead and scramble which scrambles my list. Over here I have palta for for avocado. Banana is actually the next one that's scrambled now, but um, platano is, is Spanish. I believe I'm saying that right. And I could go down the entire list to give myself clues. And that's how I can use both lists on the word scrambler. Avocado, palta. Banana, Platano. And that gives you a really good extra little puzzle to help people with different languages. Or you could even put a sentence in these clues. It could have been, you know, green, green fruit from Mexico. I could have put in here instead of palta. And that would have come out. Um, that's the word scramble maker and how I use the word list in the word scramble maker. Um, if I want to go back, I can use the word list also in our word search maker. Again, I come down, my foods in Spanish is there on the word search maker, and I can load whatever list I want to. I'm going to load the English list so that it hides the English words. And I'll go down, and here I'll quickly make a puzzle. I'm going to show you something a little bit different. And it puts all the words, avocado, dessert, all the English words in the puzzle and in the key. Or it hides those same words. There is a way to do this really quick. And I'm going to make another video solely on our word search puzzle. But if you go into fun options, since we're specifically doing something with translation of words, if I go into fun options, it takes all my English words and locks them out and puts all of them in this separate uh, form. Now all of these words are going to be hidden, the ones that I put up in that upper form. All of these words are going to be hidden. I can put whatever I want for the list. So if I want to put that palta instead of avocado, this is what's going to show up in the list. And if you want, you can then have your students first have to figure out palta. What does palta mean in English? And once they figure it out, they got to find it in the puzzle. So I'm going to do this with a couple of wor words so you can see the difference. I'm going to do platano for banana and switch that out. Remember, this is the list that will be shown. These are the words. Um, I could also, with word, I'm not going to go too detailed into the word search. I'm just going to go ahead and generate this word search with the first two words. Now I'm looking for palta or the translation. I could have gone through the whole list, but I'm looking for the translation of these two. And if I'm looking for palta, I can find the key. And avocado is the word that was hidden. So palta matches up with avocado, just as it should. Um, platano matches up with banana, which is in here, 
It doesn't hide these words, it just puts them in the list. So that's just a few different ways that you can use our word lists and word saving our word list saving features in your puzzles. Um, again, I'll go back to crosswords and my matchup is there. Um, that's just a quick overview of our word list saving. We do not have an option to save your puzzles after you create them, except for you can save them as an image, you can save them as a PDF. Those are saved to your, um, once you click on save as PDF or save as image, those are saved in your downloads, whatever your default location is for your downloads. Um, you can quickly come in with any word list that you make. You can create a new puzzle and you're in and out in no time. Hopefully you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe on YouTube and you'll get the videos as soon as we make them. Um, I got a few coming out here, so we really appreciate your support of the Teacher's Corner and be sure and let somebody know about us. We appreciate it.